Okay, make sure you know how to spell the word theorem. And theorem is something that can be proven. Y'all remember the Pythagorean theorem, right? Okay, so I can prove it is a right triangle using the um, Pythagorean theorem, and that will be, again, a theorem. Okay, I want to go to example number three. If you would, go ahead and put a line through it so we have the reasoning part. We have four steps, so I need four reasons. So let's see what is given to us. Reese, go ahead and read number three from the beginning. Okay, so they gave us how many givens? B is a midpoint of AC, that's the first given. What else? AB is congruent to EF. So I can go to that, to that corresponding reason and write out given next to it. So here's my given. And then is my given on the second, third, or fourth? Third. The third. So really in the end, we have to figure out the other two. Okay? So here I go. If B is a midpoint of AC, what do I know about AB and BC? They're congruent, and that is listed on statement number two. And that will be definition of midpoint. And then I want you to wrap something up. The most often used property that we mentioned was what? Transitive, Transitive property. So I'm going to actually write this out. The two that I bracketed, write this off to the side. AB is congruent to BC. And AB is also congruent to EF. And let's see what's been repeated. Which segment has been repeated that I could eliminate? A, B. So then my result will be then B, C is congruent to E, F. And let's see if that is true on the next statement. Statement number four. Do I see B, C is congruent to E, F? So what property did we just apply? Transitive. Transitive. Property. Of equality or congruence? Congruency. Congruency. 